Okay, guys, it's me again, and we are keep talking about the Korean beauty and their system, system of Charlotte Cho for the skincare. But to start this second part of this video, I just want uh, to say something that I said in the first part is that um, I'm not talking about, you know, uh, the skincare for uh, about only this Korean. Uh, strategy. I'm talking about uh, the European type girls with the uh, European type skin because it is really important to consider that. So that I totally advise you to watch firstly the first part of this video because there I explain uh, why we should not, you know, just go only to the Korean uh, this strategy of skincare. So in the first part of this video, we have discussed the thing of uh, makeup removal, the thing of cleansing your face. And so right now we are going to the things uh, connected with ton uh, connected with masks and exfoliation. First of all, um, I want to tell you that there is one of the most important things that everyone in every a uh, strategy of skincare should just remember tonic tonic is not something like tonerizing your skin or i don't know lots of people are just thinking that it is removing something that the cleansing products are not removing guys if something your cleansing products are not removing from your face they're not really good cleansing products tonic uh, is like you know the thing that like a helper so tonic helps uh, other stuff uh, that you're using for your skin to, you know, work better. So it is really like a helper and like a tonerizing your skin. So tonerizing, it is just making your skin ready for other care, for other skincare uh, products and, uh, you know, some manipulation that you're doing. So that is the most important thing that all the European girls should just remember because I was such person and I know lots of such people who are just thinking that there should go nothing after tonic and especially if you have oily skin. So cleansing and tonic, that's all. And really, usually it is the alcohol tonic. So, you know, just hating yourself and killing yourself. Do not do like that. The exfoliation. It should be, it is, you know, some peelings, scrubs and some cleansing masks. They, this is really, really important. And it should be used after tonic. After, because there's a quite, you know, one of the most important stuff that you should do for your face. And so that, uh, especially those products really need the help of tonic. Um, Exfoliation and scrubs and uh, masks, cleansing, they should be enough gentle because, you know, lots of people are just, uh, you know, love to, to hurt their face with lots of scrubs. The one thing that you should totally remember, if you're watching my videos, you probably have acne skin. Never use scrubs for the acne skin. You will do only worse. And especially, you know, these people who are just saying that, okay, I would not use these aggressive scrubs that, I don't know, mass market is selling and using coffee or sugar. No, never, never, no scrubs, no. I was really so much shocked when I just got that information and I just remembered reminded my first cosmetologist who was doing only scrubs for me the coral scrubs so with the pieces of stone i have no really uh things to say about that that is that is quite i don't know so if you're a cosmetologist or someone who just um, says that he or she wants to take care of your skin, want to help, want to say, to tell you some advices and he or she telling you to use scrub, this person just hates you. Or this person is not really professional and do not really know lots of things. 
scrubs could be used only for a dry skin, only for a dry skin. But just remember that some people, one of my friends, by the way, have the dry skin and acne. I do not really know how, did, how does it appear because I have started only oily skin. So even if you have dry skin but have acne, no scrubs at all. Uh, what about peelings and exfoliators? There are lots of them that you can purchase uh, from Korean brands. And that is one of the best things that you could really do for your face. So what can I just uh, tell you? Uh, the first thing is that uh, you can use uh, is your homemade exfoliators, homemade peelings, because um, really... I will just find the recipe right now of what I'm doing uh, about that. So everything that you're doing just by yourself, everything that you're doing like with love, with a, a big wish to help your skin, it could not really harm you if you are not putting there lots of aggressive ingredients. So what I would like to advise you to just to make the... Uh, the peeling that you would just use, um, I don't know, maybe twice or th three times a week. It is not really a peeling, it is like a mask, because it have no, especially really no uh, like active, aggressive ingredients that could um, harm your skin. So, uh, the recipe. Uh, it is the um, um, almond peeling. I have found the recipe on the internet, I have modified it a bit, uh, just, you know, to, to take on the best things from there and not to take bad things. So there, there you would need two, spoon, uh, two teaspoons of oatmeal, uh, two teaspoons of uh, aloe juice. I would like you to, I would advise you just to purchase uh, aloe plant because aloe for any skin type and especially for the acne one is really always needed and it would be better if you would have a fresh, fresh one at your home and it would be you you know always with you so two teaspoons of oatmeal two teaspoons of uh, aloe juice two one teaspoon of almond uh oil three uh three like uh, no uh also you can put t two tea spoons of uh, almond but it is i'm not doing that because i'm a bit afraid when i would just clean my face uh that it would uh, just uh, you know harm it a bit uh then three uh drops of lavender oil uh, and and one teaspoon of hot water that is such a mask and you can use it really after the tonic just when you have you know such um, some dry um, parts of your skin and you want to do something with that so all of those ingredients are just good for skin they cannot harm it at all really uh, and that's that's great thing. <laughs> uh, then you can, you know, uh, also use some cleansing masks. I was use I'm using some cleansing masks that are tissue masks. Uh, they are, you know, like making you feel really cold a bit. And also, what I was using it is uh, the mask cleansing mask from Lash. I was uh, showing you some Lash masks that I'm using in the previous videos. And there is also, they have a good uh, cleansing mask uh, of, it is called like pink cheeks. And I really consider that's really great stuff because, um, you know, it is, uh, your skin after it really have no, you know, like these dried places and the makeup is, you can put makeup really easily. It would look like really beautifully and so on. But the main thing that you should really remember is that such masks are usually, usually uh, done uh, on the base of clay. 
and clay is something that is needed by skin but really 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 very carefully because clay masks it is something that i was doing uh some years ago the only masks that i was doing no moisturizing mask only clay mask that really dried my skin so when i just came to my cosmetologist a year ago she said that i have the dried oily skin and i have done it with the use of uh, clay masks so i haven't been using them for i think eight months yes really eight months uh, just to make my skin not dried once more just to make it only oily and then when i just uh, realized that my skin is okay right now and it is okay at least for one month totally i started using some cleansing masks um and especially those um, pink cheeks from lush by the way it's not an advertising everything that i'm just saying it's not an advertising and what else uh i'm using it really maybe for months during a month i was using it once really five times per month then you know summer break for months or maybe two months so sometimes i'm using it but really carefully not to make my skin dry once more because i'm really scared about it i was really always happy because of okay i have oily skin i have acne but at least oily skin becomes um you know got less wrinkles and becomes old really not so fast as the dry skin but when you have oily skin with acne and it is dried and you're getting wrinkles and you are getting acne and you're just <laughs> how stupid i am okay the next thing uh it is about tonics i have uh, told you about them uh before this before um the exfoliation but also you have to put tonic after all of those masks exfoliation peelings that you are doing for your skin because um, other products should also have some help of tonics and uh, korean girls are using tonics that are more tender and contain more different extracts of herbs and amino acids because amino acids are the great stuff for the acne skin and so those tonics are usually called refreshers They're, so they are just making your skin uh, like really wake up that is really important because your skin should wake up for every product you will just put on it and of course uh, it's uh, tonics that uh, the Korea produce uh, they are you know like having pH level and that's help uh, this tonic not only to tonerize your skin but also to moisturize yet yeah, lots of people and especially the European ones they are just what uh, tonic is moisturizing but yes guys the right tonic is moisturizing the right tonic have no alcohol in it I have only one alcohol tonic it is uh, from Austria and uh, that is just created on their special the healing waters and I have told you about that in the previous video this brand called Felon and really I use it only when you know my uh, acne is was squeezed accidentally sometimes that happens you know when you're just uh, drying your face with a tissue or something like that uh, and yes, of course, there is blood, there is like, you have to do something like that, so that on locally I use this alcohol tonic, only, only that thing, only like this. Another, no, no way just to, to tonerize your skin with alcohol tonic, the whole face, that is something, oh my god. And sometimes I'm using it on my body because, as you see, I have some acne here and here but also here not not usually only here when the skin is not so gentle and where the skin is not so used you know to to get old fastly the next stage is um, essence really uh, when I just 
started my skincare i just really haven't understood why why there are so different products that are existing and how to use all of them why should i use all of them why they have really so much different names there should be tonic um cream cleansing product what else but no guys koreans are really very crazy on the skincare and that is something great because there are lots of products that you can just uh take for your skin use for your skin and they could solve different problems you have so uh one of the most important stuff that koreans also are you know also brought to our world and uh, that is a great stuff is always change your you know skincare always change products so it it is uh you know like you have finished some product and if it is not you know like a wonderful miracle effect as i got with that arnica gel just try to postpone it for some time and try to find something better or something just a, an alternative it is really important so yes i was just fond of arnica gel the whole summer but i will just do some break because i want uh, to uh, use some you know like um, bleach uh, creams and uh, bleach masks they are just doing the same stuff so so i just want to take something new it is interesting for me and i really consider this advice of korean beauty industry important so really essence is like the cure for beauty it is like the cure for wellness of your skin and you know that essence is something like also the helper of other products of serums of emulsies of um, i don't know creams because it helps you know other stuff to regenerate your skin and regeneration of your skin and helping your skin to regenerate is one of the most important because when your skin regenerates good um your acne are disappearing faster and your wrinkles are not appearing so fast so of course before we are getting to the uh, stage of 25 years old uh, our skin is regenerating really well and we can sleep less we can you know like uh, party all the night we can eat bad food drink alcohol smoke but after the stage of 25 years old it is not really so easy to do all of this stuff and so that really you have to consider essence in your daily routine of skincare it is really important i uh, really had some essence uh, i wasn't using it during the summertime because i was using some other gels and i didn't want you know to make my skin feeling really hard with all of those stuff but essence is something it is it is really hard to find a bad essence because only thing that it is making it is uh, like you know waking up your skin for regenerating and a bit moisturizing so do not be afraid just take some korean i by the way i have some korean or japanese essence i just advise you to to look for something in those stuff in those brands that is crazy good uh and the next stage is serums uh, lots of people and especially European people are just thinking the serum is the same thing that essence but no guys serum is uh, is an active component so if essence is something that needs help or is helping so serum is something that people really usually add to their creams to their masks to their makeup there are lots of like bloggers i'm just watching after them who are just saying that um you can just get lots of stuff that is not expensive not really you know like miracle products but your serum should be the best one because there is something that would help your skin every day every second and that should be perfect so that is also something that i was trying to find the best one and i'm still trying because i know how serum is important because serum is something that really mm, it is absorbing your face from bacteria it is helping with your acne it is moisturizing it is fighting with wrinkles 
and it is so deeply powerful so guys really i do not know i i really consider that the korean one they just really spread the serum importance throughout all the world so i really consider it is important to find your perfect serum among um among the korean pro the pro korean producers sellers and brands I, it is just my opinion because I have used different serums from different countries and except Korea. I don't know why, because maybe there were not so much ex expensive and I was just believing that I would find not something so expensive, but at least what is my conclusion? I will just go for expensive Korean serums because it is important. The next thing is masks. Uh, I have told you about masks and uh, what what Koreans are usually do. They do, you know, some active masks twice a week, maybe three times a week. And the tissue masks that are with different things, you know, like today I'm feeling... They, they really have a big amount of tissue masks, really a big amount. And they are just for every day. So today I'm feeling tired. Where is my mask for killing my tiredness? Or today, I don't know, I need to go for a red carpet and my uh, skin should be bright. Where is my mask for the brightness? So that is really important. And um, why do they have so cult of um, this tissue mask and so on? Because really in Korea, I have watched uh, lots of bloggers from there because I have never been in Korea. But at least they usually have those discounts really almost everyday discounts for tissue masks so they could you could just purchase this tissue mask you know not for two dollars for one but for 70 cents for example for one so they are just purchasing lots of them in europe people do not have you know this culture of tissue masks really but i hope someday they would the eye cream really there are lots of girls that are my age, younger than me, and really sometimes older than me, then just forget about the eye care. And it should not be really, what can I say? It should not be really only one thing that you have. You have to really, as, um, as the Korean, but not only Korean, lots of other, you know, strategies of skincare, you have to use different products for your eyes one for the daytime i told you i have this uh hyaluronic and aloe gel one cream more like more heavy cream i have with red caviar and some oils in the evening also make some oily masks for your uh eye eye skin uh always it is also good to use just aloe juice as the mask for the night time so it is really important and one more thing that is important is try to find the concealer uh, or i don't know the daily cream if you do not really use the concealer with spf because this skin is so gentle you are just i'm just really surprised that people are just putting uh, the spf cream on the whole face but uh, the most gentle and the most you know like skin that needs really really needs more care they didn't put the spf cream why i don't know so uh for the spf you can also look in some korean brands and some maybe japanese because they have just created these things that you know problems of skin care so i think they have created the solution as well and moisturizing cream i think that uh, really guys everybody in different countries not only in korea just understand how the moisturizing cream is important so moisturizing cream for a daytime and night cream for a night time i usually by the way use the moisturizing cream uh at the daytime then i use it on the night time before putting the night cream because I just got used to it after I have started making my skin not so dry. 
So moisturizing cream, just try to find something that would be good for you because I told you that I got Gigi really great cream with seaweed moisturizing, but it was not moisturizing enough for me. And it is still when my skin is not so dry, it is not enough moisturizing. So I uh, use the cream from Natura Bisse just for my age for just moisturizing, not not something really uh, like, you know, for acne skin. No, just moisturizing. And that is important, you know, not to just to take just moisturizing cream because um, not to, you know, like uh, pressing your skin with lots of components uh, against acne. Do not do this. Sometimes, even for acne skin, it is better to put more importance to moisturizing, but not for fighting with acne. Just try it and you will see how, how does it works in another way. Maybe it works just for me, but it, it really works. You can just make this experiment and you will see. And if it works for you as well, please write in the comments because I do not want to be the only one. <laughs> okay, the night uh, cream. Also in Korea, uh, I have just shown you in the previous video this night masks with allure. It is also considered like the night cream as well. Uh, so it is something that you can just uh, choose for yourself. I have chosen the night cream and sometimes I use these night masks uh, with collagen. Just, just something also depends on your skin type. But the most important thing that it should be there just should be in your cosmetic, you know, strategy of skincare. It, it is very important. And the last stage, the last and the most really important, the most really forgettable by the European girls, the SPF cream. And that is something that I'm just even doing, you know, like uh, sometimes I do not have uh, much time, you know, so I have to, for example, to go to the market just when I got up and I do not have time to do all of those skin routines. So what I do, I just wash my face and I just put this SPF cream just before going to the street. So then in half of an hour I just come home I just do all this routine just wash my face once more but do not go outside without an SPF cream that is something that really helps to to fight with wrinkles because really one day I just realized that I haven't got rid of acne but I got wrinkles and it is better to start you know like fighting with them before they appear so guys, I hope it was interesting for you and I hope it was helpful because really all of those stuff is important. And I am using this Korean system for for a long time, I think for a half of a year. And uh, lots of people are just afraid that lots of products will just make harm and, you know, like block pores and so more acne would appear. But no, guys, I got up today and I just realized that I have no kystosic acne on my face. No one. Only those small guys that I just really sometimes happy to see. So, guys... Just before seeing something that being against something, just try it and then you would say your opinion. So I could got a bad experience with the Korean system, but no, I got a good one. But the most important just to consider, take into account that European type is different from the Korean. We have different skin, we have different organisms, we have different lifestyles and everything that you are taking just trying on yourself. If you see that it doesn't work in or it is making something bad, just do not do that just because the Korean girls are looking beautifully and they do this. Everything is so individual. And really, the beauty is also individual. So, guys, everyone is beautiful. You are beautiful. Don't forget about it. Just every day, coming up to the mirror, just see not just try to see not the acne just try to see the result and you will feel beautiful other people 
will see you beautiful.